Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and I'm going to be showing you how to do the Magic Lantern RAW files workflow with Adobe After Effects and RAW to DNG. So if you notice, these are all my RAW files are right here. They're all in folders except for this one right here. So when you use the RAW to DNG um, and you convert the files, the files will be sent to the same exact folder or location that the RAW file is in. So if I drag and drop the file here, um, right here where it says Adam and I put that onto here which I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute it's going to put all the DNG files right in this folder so if I had left all the raw files without folders on them that would throw all the DNG files into this folder and we kind of have a chaotic incident so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do new folder and I'm going to go on and make this uh, go on and name this now if you know what your files are you can go on and name the files um, how you want um, I don't I have so many files in here well not a lot but I have enough that I don't remember what each file is so I'm just going to name them by the raw file number. So once I've done that, I put it in there. Now I'm going to take the Photoshop file right here, or the raw file, I should say, and put it. Just put it on the DNG. It's going to open up. It's going to open up this dialog, and then what it's going to do is it's going to convert all the files into DNGs. There's 319 files as you can see, and so it won't take that long to do it. And you're going to have to do this for each individual file. So once you're done doing that, then we'll bring it into After Effects and we'll edit that. And the same thing with After Effects, you're going to have to do that with each individual file into After Effects. Um, so the best thing I would do is I would bring each individual file, do your basic editing, bring in the next file, do your basic editing, till you have all the files that you're going to want to edit in Premiere. You want to add that into like kind of like your timeline into After Effects. It's a little bit different the way it's set up in After Effects than Premiere. And you would export all the files out together and then break them back up once you brought, bring them into Premiere. You can cut and chop and, and bring them in and edit them how you want. So uh, this is almost finished. And here we go. Okay, so I've already opened up uh, After Effects here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new composition. And then uh, the files were shot at 1472 by 828. So we're going to go on and do that because that's what the file size are. So if you have different file sizes, you probably want to only bring in the file sizes um, that were shot on on in this format, and if you if you have ones that are larger or smaller but shot with the same camera, you want to bring those in separately. Uh, this was at 2396, um, so that's right. And the duration of uh, your code is good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click OK. We're going to double click here, and we're going to go back out, and we want 51, and we're going to click this one zero, and then right here at the bottom you can see where it says camera raw sequence that is correct so we're just going to go on and do this so once that is done it's going to open up a uh, a camera raw editing um, setup so if anybody has shot photography um, and used the camera raw this is what's going to pop up when you open Photoshop so you can pretty much edit your your video the same way you would if you're editing a photo so um, I'm just going to do basic color correction. Uh, I use DaVinci Resolve, so if I want to do my major color correction, what I would do is I would just do real basic here, send it into Premiere, send it to Resolve, send it back from Resolve back into Premiere, and that's how I would, I would go about things. But for this, for time's sake, we're just going to do real basic edit. So maybe I want to pop my clarity up, um, make it a little more clear. Um, I want to add a little vibrance into this, add a little more green, make it pop a little bit more. Um, you got your highlights, so we could bring that up if we wanted to. That's a little, maybe we want to darken it up a little bit. Bring that down. Your exposure, we could really brighten it up if we wanted to, but I want, that looks good. Um, contrast, and I don't think I want to bring up the contrast a tad bit right there. So that looks pretty good. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to click OK. It's going to open up over here. So we'll run through the footage real quick, and it's, and it's going to take a second, kind of run through it. So, uh, so once you do that, I'm going to drag and drop it into down here, 
And now I'm ready to, I'm just gonna go on an exporter. I'm not gonna do any color correction. I could go over here and do some color correction and stuff like that, but I'm not going to. This is a 10 second clip right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit, uh, uh, let's see here, composition, add to render queue. Okay, so I'm gonna go on and render it. Uh, what settings do I wanna render it in? That's good, best. You can go through here and kind of get your settings the exact way you want to. And everything is looking what I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to pick a specific output point. So I'm going to export it into the folder that it was originally in. So we'll go down to editing HD, media unlocked one, raw series and raw video, my 5D Mark II, 51. And I'm going to export. Now I have different, I could do AVI, and I'm gonna go with AVI. Actually, I wanna switch that to output module here. And I'm gonna pick H264. And then let's make sure I like everything else that's set up. And yes, that looks pretty good to me. So it's going to be an H264 and make sure that's going into the right folder yep save and then I'm just gonna hit over here in the far right corner I'm just gonna hit the render and now it's going to render frame by frame um, and that's gonna take let's see here it's like 719 frames maybe so that's gonna take a little while so when we come back I'll actually play the video back for you and you'll be able to drag and drop this right into um, Premiere and start editing it. Now, if you were uh, if you were doing uh, multiple clips, I would go on and do all the clips at once and then export them all at once, and that's going to take a while. Um, so that's why I don't really like the Magic Raw workflow quite yet because it just hasn't gotten to the point where it is uh, the time is worth is worth your it's worth your time. Um, it, unless you're doing something uh, a project that's really important or something really small. It's fun for doing a lot of nature shots like this and then pasting them, putting them together and adding some music to it and making a little like montage. So, and it's also a great way just to practice and get used to RAW and understand how it works so that if you ever get yourself on a red camera um, or, or other RAW capable cameras, you kind of have an idea of how it works and it will make it easier for color correction and stuff because you've already had some practice. Anyways, we're gonna come back when this is finished and uh, play back that 10 second video. All right, so the video has finished. Um, I made the composition for a little bit longer than 10 seconds, so it's gonna go black after 10 seconds. Um, so here's the footage, and you'll be able to bring this right into Adobe Premiere and start editing it, um, and then, or if you need to want to send it into a Resolve first and then send it over to Adobe Premiere. So the footage looks pretty clean, pretty nice. Um, and that's how you do the After Effects workflow with PC. Um, after this video here in a second, there'll be a link um, so that you can go over and watch the Mac version. So if you have a Mac and you want to watch the workflow, it's a tad bit different on Macs. As well, um, there are footage. There will be footage down below so that you can download the actual footage and you can follow along with me if you want to do that. If you don't actually have any raw files to edit, then you can just follow along with my actual raw file. So uh, so I'll have a link to the raw to DNG file and a link to my raw file so that you can edit along. And, uh, and enjoy yourself, guys. This is a lot of fun, and uh, like I said, I don't really like the workflow quite yet, but it's gonna get better, and it's gonna get faster and easier, I'm sure, over time. So check us out on Facebook at David D. Images, Twitter at Media Unlocked, and our new website, MediaUnlocked.net. You guys have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.